So I just wanted to show you this view. Uh, I know some people think because I have a Dublin Marathon shirt, I ran the Dublin Ireland Marathon, not to be confused with the Dublin California Marathon. So in case you didn't know, so here's the thing, I've fallen asleep on the train before around BART. <clears throat> As, la as long as you don't leave the substation, I didn't fall asleep this time, but I'm just letting you know that, uh, you know, if you did happen to fall asleep and go all the way to the end, um, I used to make fun of people because I used to see that because Millbrae is the end of the line and people would be falling, they would be asleep and then they missed their stop. So I could fall asleep because I'm going all the way to Millbrae, so I know I'm going all the way to the end. But if, it, if like you're trying to get off in San Francisco and then you don't realize... <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I didn't do that today, but I have done that before. All right, so now I need to go back. So I just wanted to show you. Oh, I think I, I think it's the same one to go back. All right, so San Francisco Daily City, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we'll walk back over here, and then I'm gonna head back. You know what, Dublin doesn't seem that bad. I don't, I didn't do any research to know like kind of what the houses are. I think when I get home, I'm gonna look up Dublin though, because I don't know. How long the train ride was or BART ride so I'll say train I look I say the words I use them interchangeably so that's just how it is um, I love you and I will talk to you later I'm gonna head back into the city this was just an experiment just to you know take a ride I'm gonna time it to see how long it takes to get back into San Francisco um, okay I love you and I bought my uh, matrix tickets I'm so excited I'm so so excited for that uh, I've been waiting. It feels like I've been waiting like decades. It really has. It feels like I've been waiting decades, even though I, that doesn't even make any sense because they never said they were going to come out with another movie. But my point is like, um, it feels like forever, but at the same time, I can remember going to the Matrix and watching it and having it blow my mind and then talking to my girlfriend about it and my two friends. And it was awesome. So I appreciate that. I appreciate everyone. I appreciate Dublin, I really do. A bunch of good people here. You know, I'm gonna think I'm gonna start live streaming just because I enjoy, you know, the positivity that's in the community. I absolutely do, I absolutely do. What's that, sir? I'm waiting for San Francisco. I have no idea about this one, sir. So I'm gonna talk to you later. I love you, I'm gonna peace out. All right, have a blessed day. Here is the Hyatt Regency, and at the top, there is a restaurant that goes around in circles. The whole restaurant literally moves around, so your view gets to change. Basically, my mom used to take me there when I was a kid for like special occasions, like if I did something good. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. It's I I don't I haven't been there in a long time, but it is actually really cool. So, from what I remember, and I am back home, back home, baby. Love it. All right, so this is how I'm gonna know. I will be going to, let's see here. Ah, oh, I failed. That was an epic fail. I was trying to use the billboard. No, I got my ticket already for, um, what is it? Tan for Ann, the 22nd, 1145. I got the D-Box seats. They have speakers in them or something. I've never tried that before. So I'm hoping you're there. And by you, I mean anybody that I think is cool. There's a lot of people actually that I follow and think are really cool. So maybe I might see somebody there. Who knows? I can wish, right? I can wish. All right, I'll talk to you later. I love you. Okay, so I want to come over here and show you this. I don't know what it's called, like an artistic water piece. I used to come here when I was a kid. And I actually went in there and got wet. But that was like during the summertime. I think you can walk through. Oh no, you can't. I don't think you can walk through it anymore. It used to be like, I think there was like a little way, a walkway, that you could walk on it. And then 
Let's see here. There is a... Oh, here we go. Shout out to... Is this OSHA? No, no, no. This is... OSHA. Excuse me. But thank you to Ann, Anna Lee, and Ruthie for opening my eyes to that restaurant. No, that place is really good. I, like... I loved hanging out with them, like, whenever I had the opportunity, but, like, that place is fucking amazing. Okay, I'm gonna hit up uh, Cowgirl Creamery, just because they have, like, a, like, an egg, egg white shake, or I forget what it was, but it's so good. So good. Shout out to Cowgirl Creamery. Yes. I do have to pee. That's the only problem is, uh, not sure about the bathrooms. Uh, I don't know if I want to use like the public ones. That's the only problem here in San Francisco. The public bathrooms aren't. Well, you know, it's like for some people, it's a home. Oh wait, no, maybe you can go up there. I think I remember this from when I was a kid. Let's see. Let me see. I think I'm right. Oh, it is slippery though. So you got to be careful. Oh, I was right. No, but uh, I think I would climb over this and like go in the water. Oh, shit. This is like flooding. Whew. There we go. Good thing I have my boots on. I'm going to do my best not to drop the phone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Okay, there it is. Yeah, you can step through there. I'm not going to do that. So I'm gonna... Oh, see, I'm not wrong. Oh, okay. So here we go. Yeah. I get all wet though. I get super wet. You come through right here. Oh, excuse me, I belch. I think there's a movie theater here too in Barker Dara Center. I'm gonna check it out because it's like the older, not older, sorry, like the independent movie theater, which I think is really cool. So this is like, oh, and the other thing too is here's where, right there is where the San Francisco Marathon starts. So my wife and I, all the time, for years. Actually, I, the first marathon I ran was in uh, high school. I don't see why they don't do the marathon in high school. I think that would be great training for uh, you know, when you get older and you, know, you want to go to the Olympics and stuff. But there is the restaurant. There's U.S. Bank. Um, I've always wanted to stay at the Hyatt. But, dude, it's expensive. I remember... For the San Francisco Marathon, I think we, uh, my wife treated me one time. It was like $400 for one night. And I was just like, yes. I thought I was like king of the universe, bro. <laughs> okay, I love you. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to go to Calgary Creamery. That's the plan. First, I have to find a bathroom. Maybe I'll find one in there. All right, I'll do that. All right, so I'm just going to use the bathroom in public restroom. The funny part, it's not as dirty as I remember, actually. I think it's cleaner. I think perception is either it was worse before and I didn't realize how good it got and then now it's not as bad. Oh, okay, so it's cleaning. That's good. I like that it's cleaning. Um, let's see here. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to walk around. I'm going to make my way, so I'm going to start. Where are we at? We're somewhere... Dude, I'm so bad here. Uh, where is Pier 1? Dude, I'm horrible. Why am I not finding... Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I see it. Okay, so we're right here. I'm just going to loop that way, I think. Or, you know what? I don't know. I think I want to hit up Chinatown and Japantown. And a bunch of kids are on the playground, which is, I think, is really cool. I like that. I really do. I'm, I'm very appreciative. It's very calm today. So that's a really good thing. I have to pee though. I've had to pee for a while. Dude, how awesome would it be to live like right up there? That would be so sick. Okay. No, I'm serious. Actually, you know what? I would love to have like an office, like way up there at the top and then just like live there. I would just always be working. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. Okay, let's see if the bathroom's ready. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through this, okay? Did you tell anybody to, let's see here, lock, yeah, let's lock it. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through me going to the bathroom. No, I only do video of that at work. I accidentally, oh, someone left their underwear, dang. Okay, I'm gonna cut so I can 
take care of my business. But here you go. Now you, now you know what the bathroom looks like. Very different from the Japanese bathrooms, actually. But actually a lot cleaner than I remembered. <laughs> okay, bye. I just want to take you on a scenic route here. There's like a swimming pool and a fitness center, tennis. I'm working on my walking now. All right, here we go. That's the plan today, just go a lot of walking. That's how I got like into the best shape of my life. You know, people don't understand that. You know, first you gotta walk and learn how to walk correctly. Then I gotta learn how to run correctly again. It's like a whole rebuilding process. That's the thing, when you let yourself slide, because I did, I let myself slide. I got like 15 pounds of fat I'm carrying around. What's funny is like, I showed my wife when I lost like 60 pounds, then I carry, I have these two 30 pound dumbbells and I was like, dude, I used to walk around with these two dumbbells with me. No wonder I was like always tired. And that's the problem. Like when, you, when you're carrying around all this fat, like, eh, I'm gonna go this way. Just walking around. Actually, I'm gonna, you know, I changed my mind. I'm gonna hit up. I'm gonna walk all the way to Pier 39. I'm gonna see if I get some crab, get a beer. Maybe uh, someone, maybe a little live music. You know, I can hit up a, usually there's live music, but I don't know. So we'll see. I'm gonna walk down there, see what's cooking. All right, I love you. Maybe right, maybe not right now, but Let's see if there's any anybody hanging out down here. Sir. I don't see anything. Nothing. Okay. I did have a dream at one time when I was a child. I wanted to live on a boat. And then just because then I was like all my stuff would be on the boat and then I'd be able to just go anywhere. I thought it'd be fun, like just to do that for like a year. I think it'd be cool. The weird ideas that you come up with as you walk along the water. I'm gonna go up to that, uh, I forget what it's called, Hoyt, uh, something point, I forget. Please tell me, correct me. No, I remember that from uh, um, Dirty Harry with Clint Eastwood. Epic movies, epic. All right, I love you. got a, a crab sandwich, some water, and a beverage. I don't like to eat there, so I'm like right by Ghirardelli's. This is the uh, Maritime Museum. I used to come here when I was a kid and use their bathroom. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna eat some food again, and I'm gonna walk a lot more, maybe three more hours. All right, love you. All right. Okay, there it is. My crab sandwich, my water, my hiney. Mm. The water. Oh, so there we go. Alcatraz. I swear to God, this is what gets you into shape. Dude, these hills. I need to master these hills. I need to be the master of hills. I conquer the hill. 
Then I conquer the flat. Oh my god. I'm sweating like crazy. This is good. This is a good one. I had two meals today. I should just chase them down and jump on that. I don't think I can do it. It's going too fast. Oh my goodness. I'm going. I'm chugging. Oh, Carvana. Another Carvana car. You got a plate though. I need, get, I need to rest. I'm gonna stop for a second. Oh my gosh. That's good times. Oh. Oh, I decided to walk. I was gonna take the trolley just for nostalgia, but I'm like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta get back into shape. I used to be able to, I used to be a run, run in the desert for hours during the summertime. I, mean, I don't remember any of it, but no, I remember doing it. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. All right, I love you. I'm touring the city because I love this city and I'm hoping that we can just hang out, you know? So I hope that I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye. Dude, when this, when this park is done, it's gonna be badass. So look, you got this park here. And then literally you're like two blocks away from Fisherman's Wharf. Okay, three blocks. You can see Alcatraz from the park. Dude, that's epic. Epic. All right, okay, we're at Lombard. I'm not going down. I wanted to go down on a one wheel. So when I get my one wheel, I'm gonna go down there. I'll probably crash though. No, I need to get good at it. <laughs> Dude, I'm sweating like crazy. Woo. Okay, I'm not going down. Okay. So this is Broadway. If you keep going on Broadway, there's Deja Vu, which is, uh, I'm gonna say a club from when I was a kid. Yeah. It's just memories. Okay. No, there was someone there. Uh, you know, that was the first strip club I went to. I feel weird talking about that. With random strangers, like, I just gotta get more open with just like saying random shit where people are like, gonna look at me and double take because <laughs> they don't know me so they're gonna like think i'm just crazy or uh, you know amazing or maybe they won't think anything all right bye. Bye. shout out to the tenderloin baby shout out to the tenderloin Actually, it's pretty much how I remember it, so that's a, that's, that's a pretty good job. All right, I love you. Bye. No, you, you, know what, you know what I think it is? I think it's the smell. It's the smell that gets me. I just have to get used to it again. There's a, I don't know, there's a certain scent. Like, you know, when you don't shower for like weeks and then you crap yourself and then it dries up and you crap yourself again. There's just a certain smell. To it. I just got to get used to it again. I got to acclimatize myself to it. You know, I haven't experienced it in a few years, but uh, you know, I'm confident that uh, I can get used to it again. Um, I really, I don't know how to fix the situation. I, I really don't know anything. I have no knowledge whatsoever, period. Okay, I love you. Bye. All right, so I'm heading back. I'm on Market and Powell. I'm going to take Bart back to uh, San Bruno, Millbrae. I'm gonna rest. Like I've been walking all day. I've been, I've had a good time, but now I just need to chill. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. So this is what I was saying yesterday. So you get off the the BART here and then you just walk to El Camino. There is Chase. I think I'm gonna try that Chinese restaurant. Then I'm gonna find like a little market just so I can get like water and stuff. 
but uh that was a good first day you know i had fun i got to talk to a lot of people um just my you know the i'm gonna keep it real you know the people i am familiar with i think they they tend to just communicate with me uh transient homeless people i just i realized that like you know working with homeless people for 10 years each person has this, their own kind of like language and way of speaking. It's very, it's like a dialect almost. So it's, it's interesting, you know, it's like the nuances of some of those things that you learn when you're doing something that, and then everyone can be like, ah, oh, this guy, why does he always talk so weird and different when he's around? Well, it's just, I'm trying to adapt, you know, like I, I try to communicate in a way that the people who I'm communicating with will understand. I'm not saying it always works, but that's my goal. So I'm gonna head to the hotel, I'm gonna relax, probably take a hot shower. I'm really sore, so I did bring my massage gun and then my wife bought me that uh, that one thing you put in the fridge or freezer, it's like a roller ball, so I'm gonna use that on my back and my shoulders and my neck. So that should be awesome. Thank you, this was an amazing first day, it really was. I hope every day just keeps getting better and better, not just for me, but for everyone. So I appreciate you. I was talking to a gentleman on the uh, the BART, you know. It was messed up, like he had no shoes. I just felt bad, you know. He was telling me he's been on homeless for like six years. Um, I And here's the thing, I really do appreciate those conversations because like there's a lot of people that kind of just fall through the cracks. You know, he told me, he, here's, and I didn't even say anything, so I don't know, he was telling me how he was married and that was like the best time of his life and that's when he wasn't homeless. And I was like, damn, bro, that, that kind of sucks, but. You know, I hope it gets better for him. That's why I told him, I said, look, things are gonna get better for you, okay? And I, I really think he believes it. So that's all I got for you. I love you. I'm gonna relax, have a blessed, have a good night. And hopefully I see you soon. I really, I really hope so. Okay, I love you, bye.